What is up you guys, Orlando here with Leisure Record Studio. A quick tutorial for you guys today. There's something cool I wanted to show you. Today we're gonna automate some EQ filters. So let's do it. And remember, if you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing. You know the drill. Hit like, hit subscribe, hit the bell so you don't miss any other video from us. And there's something cool happening with this track I'm working on. I'm mixing that on my other channel in Spanish completely with stock plugins. And there's a cool tip I wanted to give you just in case you need to do this. For example, I have a track here that it's a, a percussion track. Normally this track is a high end track percussive. I would cut everything below 500 Hertz. So the problem is that at some point in the track, um, we also have kicks coming in. And since it has uh, some effects on the back as well, you kind of really um, just chop it up and uh, I didn't want it to spend that much time just chopping up each individual kick and putting it on a track and uh, doing the same process. So um, why not automate the filter in this case? So it let pass that kick that is coming on on certain points of the track. It's just one move and it's going to solve your life in this section right here. And I'm going to uh, open my uh, filters right here, which I have active uh, below 421 Hertz. I'm cutting all those frequencies down. So here it is. OK, so on this portion of the song, what I'm doing is actually automating this filter. So it go low below um, the 40 Hertz. So he let pass that kick and this is how it sounds like. Okay. I have an automation track here. I'm gonna, um, show you this one and how I created it. It's easy. You just go to your channel settings here and on the filter, the low cut filter, you just click um, right click actually on that show the low cut frequency automation track that one you just click on it and you're going to get this track right here on this track you're actually going to do your automation and uh, as you can see here uh this one it's uh the 40.5 hertz uh, it can go below you know whatever you want it to be that filter just automate that in on the parts that you don't want the bass in just automate it and put it and set it up like uh, i have here 421 hertz i'm gonna show you right now as you can see on there i just automated those two kicks that are coming in and the rest I'm just filtering out and that's uh, the automation there. That's a pretty cool way, easy way to do it. Just a simple automation and it's only on those points of the song. So that can save you time instead of going in, shopping up and creating another track and filtering out as well and doing all this process that it will take you more time. Hope you guys enjoyed that uh, tip right there. Let me know in the comments below what you think. And remember, if you're new to this channel again, consider subscribing. You know the drill. Hit like, hit subscribe, hit the bell so you don't miss any other video. Don't stress. Do your best. Be blessed. Forget the rest. See you in the next one.